Hey everyone, it's Joy here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a really awesome day. Today's video corresponds with Reverse Confetti's blog hop and also their release is live. So I want to make a really cute scene card, a really kind of soft, pretty, but very spring-like scene card. I'm using the Better With Friends stamp set, so I'm stamping my little images here, and I'm actually using Honeybee Stamps No Line Coloring Ink because I want this to be really soft, really, really pretty. So when I stamped those little flowers, apparently I had not cleaned those stamps from the black ink from the sneak peeks so i had to clean that and stamp that again so it was a lighter stamped image and i'm going to stamp that small little cluster of flowers a second time so we can have two of those and one of the larger flower so i'm also going to be using the big egg die i will have everything listed and linked below also if you are just coming from youtube and not from the blog hop itself you can head on over to my blog it's listed and linked below in the description and you can go hop along for more inspiration from all the other fabulous designers okay so i'm going to be coloring with some colored pencils i'm going to be using some gamsol and these are little like paper stumps that you blend the gamsol out with so i'm using two gray colors I am lightly coloring all of these images. I don't want this to be dark at all. I want it to feel very, very light, but I am using two grays because I wanna add a little bit of uh, shading to this little bunny because he's so big. The rest of the images, not so much other than the sun and the clouds, I will add a little bit of shading with that, but I will just use one, one color for the clouds and two colors for the sun. So I'm just laying down all of my color. I'm coloring this whole bunny. Then I'm taking my stump pencil, making sure that if I've used it before, I, I rub it off on the little sandpaper that you can get with that. And I'm dipping it in the Gamsol and just running it over my image. And so it's like I'm coloring again and it's going to smooth out all of those colored pencil marks. It is gonna look kind of fuzzy in a good way, but you're not gonna see like the little straight lines from coloring. I added a little bit of pink for the nose and inside of the ears. And I'm adding just a little bit more of the shading with that little, that bit of a darker gray colored pencil. And a little bit of pink for the cheeks. I will come in later with a black colored pencil and add more detail to his eye. So here's the two yellow colors I'm using for the sun. I'm just adding that darker yellow at the base near the clouds, and then I'm gonna blend that out. Again, making sure I'm rubbing my pencil off on the sandpaper. I don't want any color from the previous color on that. See that bunny right ne there next to my hand? That's what happened, so I had to restamp a bunny and color it again because my stump pencil was not cleaned well. So here is those cute little clouds. I'm gonna just blend that out. I will come back in and add a little bit more of the blue to that cloud. But as you can see, this has a really soft, pretty feel to it, which is totally what I wanted to do. No black, harsh lines, none of that. Now, I think I may have mentioned in one of the sneak peek videos with the big egg die that I wanted to create a scene on this, or it would make a cute card itself. So, since I saw this big egg die, I really did want to create a cute scene. So that's what we're going to do. Most of the scene is going to be on the egg. We're going to extend part of the scene onto the background uh, in the form of a rainbow, which I used a, uh, a like a hillside stencil to create this rainbow. So once I'm done coloring all of these little images, I will use the coordinating dies to die cut these out which is fantastic. I don't wanna to have to fussy cut anything because <laughs> that is just not what I love to do. So I'm just gonna finish coloring these guys and blend them out. And there's a cute little bumblebee at the bottom. I'm also going to take a light, lighter green and just gently trace over the stems of these flowers. I didn't want those to not have a color other than just the ink. So I'm lightly tracing over that. And then I'm gonna come in on that cute little bee at the bottom and he's so darling once you start to color him and bring him to life, he's just so super cute. I also did end up stamping the little bee's heart trail and I stamped that in the same no line coloring ink and I will also use the coordinating die to die cut that. I don't know if I did that on camera, I'm pretty sure I did that. 
off camera. So I'm going to add the little eyes with the black uh, colored pencil. I'm going to use a little bit of that blue, like that little turquoise colored pencil for his wings. And I'm just adding it the color to the bottom and then blending upwards so it's lighter at the tips of his wings. I decided the clouds needed some more blue, so I'm going to add that. Okay, so on my mini stencil mat, I have my die cut egg from White Cardstock and my white background. And I have the egg attached with a little bit of tape because I want it to stay in place. I'm going to stencil the rainbow across the whole background and the egg. I will be popping the egg up with foam tape, but I do want that whole rainbow to be across the whole card, if that makes sense. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Hillside Stencil to create one of the stencils to create this rainbow. I'm just using the bottom part of the hill because it has a nice, good arch. I'm using Distress Oxide inks in Spun Sugar, that's the first color, and I'm gonna tell you them in order. Squeezed Lemonade, Dried Marigold, Cracked Pistachio, Tumbled Glass, Shaded Lilac. Yeah, Shaded Lilac, that's the last one. So I'm just going to stencil a little strip, clean my stencil really good in between, and then just lightly overlap the color before. And this is gonna give me a nice rainbow, and of course we're going on a diagonal, which is, I don't know, super, super cute. So it's gonna kinda of look like it's the end bottom part of the rainbow. Now, I do wanna say, you guys, if you like what you've seen with this video, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, comment, like, share, hit the notification button, and hit all. So that way you can get all of my notifications for all of my videos. You don't miss out on anything because I've got just fun stuff coming up. So thank you for doing that. I really appreciate you guys, you guys supporting me. I just am so, so thankful. So thank you very much. Okay, so here's the tumbled glass. And then we're going to finish with the shaded lilac. Then I'm going to die cut another egg from white cardstock and I'm going to use this stencil to make a little hill and then I'm going to trim that out so we can add that to the bottom of this egg. Really super simple, super, super quick, but it's going to give us a ground to put our scene on. Okay, so here's that stencil. I'm coming in with bundled sage. I'm just going to blend that at the bottom, trying to get a nice, good, even arch. And I think this bundled sage is absolutely gorgeous. And it's so soft and pretty, like the rest of the colors that I used for the rainbow. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim along the line where I did the ink blending. This is going to match the bottom of my egg. So this is super easy, super quick. I'm just gonna lay out my little pieces here because I want to stamp my sentiment across the rainbow. So part of the reason why I wanted a larger rainbow is because I wanted to have this larger sentiment stamped and white heat emboss across it. So this sentiment is from The Better With Friends. It says, life's better with friends. I love the, font, the two different fonts on this and I think it's a really, really good size. So I have this in my Misty. I do want to make sure that my ink is dry. For the most part, it's pretty dry. And I prepped the heck out of this card with my anti-static powder tool. That is from Taylor Expressions. This, their powder tool by far to me is the best. I really don't have issues with little stray pieces of embossing powder. So I'm just going to tap that all over everywhere because I just didn't want it sticking anywhere. I'm going to ink that up with clear embossing ink just a few times. I want to make sure I get a nice, good image. And then I will sprinkle on my white embossing powder. I do have my heat tool already heating up because I want that nice and hot before I take it to my cardstock. Now, I did totally forget to record me adhering down all of the little images. I am so sorry. But here is this little piece. So I popped that up with foam tape, the bunny, and these little flowers in front. The rest of them are just adhered down directly to that background. And I trimmed off all of the excess pieces except for the sun. I did want to keep that full image, but super, super cute. Then I'm going to pop it up with foam tape and adhere it and making sure when I adhere it that all my little stripes for my rainbow are lined up from the egg to the background cardstock piece. I also did trim down that cardstock piece about an eighth of an inch on all sides and I will adhere that to a white A2 size card base. And then this card is completely finished and I think it is so cute, so darling. 
reverse confettis, uh, little critters for their March release are so, so cute. And you guys, the release is live. So definitely go shopping because they've got some really cute stuff. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and I will see you guys soon. Bye.